Hey everybody, this is Merrick, and today we're going to take a look at some of the plugins that are available in the beta. Just a little warning, these are in beta and there's no guarantee that they will be released with free to play. However, I want to take a look at them and I thought that it would be interesting to everybody as well. So the first thing that you have to do with plugins is that you actually have to load them individually, or at least you had to until this first plugin. So we're going to type in plugins load manager all right so as you can see it says loaded plugin manager and we're going to go ahead and open it up and right here we have the plugin manager now listed underneath here is all the different plugins that i have available to me you do have to load them individually right now but with this plugin manager you can actually load them all at different time all at the same time Going to go ahead and select them all just to show you what it's like. Hit apply. And everything goes crazy. Ah. Okay. I just wanted to show you real quick all the different ones that are available right now. We'll be taking a look at these individually as time goes by. I'm going to go ahead and unload all of them except for the travel one. Hit apply, hit reload, and there you go. Now we're gonna take a look at the travel one right now. The travel, or hunter travel, is known for its ability to create basically a grid or a bar or carousel that will hold all your travel locations. So you don't have to put them on a bar anymore. As you can see, I've got mine on a bar right here. It's beta, so I don't have my kinship or my personal health one, but they would be there in the normal game. So the first thing that you see is that you've got different selections here. You do have to filter this out yourself. Unfortunately, due to the API restrictions, you can't automatically uh, detect your race in your class. Not a big deal. It's pretty easy to set up. So you'll right click and you'll choose features. Generic travels, that's your kinship and your personal house. Racial travels, that's like return to Bree, return to um, the Shire, and things like that. Reputation travels are ones that you earn through your reputation, and class travels are ones that you might get through classes. As you can see right now, it's warden and hunter stuff. So, not being a warden or hunter, I'm going to take that off. If I did click on one of those, it would give me a general error because I don't have that skill. If I went to, let's say I chose my race as a man, and you can see I've got return to Bree here. It's grayed out and it'll give me a message saying this skill requires a trait to be equipped. So I'll switch it back to Hobbit. Now you can also add a map yourself as you can click here. It says drag your maps to inventory, quick sock below, then press the button to set your map home skills. And here you can see for the class, you can select warden or hunter mode. Okay, so we've got text list. You can just click on this personal list right here and select it and click it and you will return to the Shire. Or you can select the carousel, which creates a little bar and you can minimize it like that. And you can switch between all of them. Kind of neat, huh? As you can also see, it gives you travel rations. You can move the box around and it's actually pretty cool. It's one of the most popular ones and you can obviously see why. It frees up a lot of time and frees up a lot of bars and it makes it all easy for you. Some of the plan changes to this is to allow users to sort icons as they wish, add any missing travel locations, performance improvements, and methods to remove maps. Those are things that would be done with the current API. Unfortunately, there are things that cannot be done right now, things that he'd like to do, but the API needs updates, is automatically detect class and race like we talked about, able to determine which skills are valid and show only those, be able to bind a key to open the window, and change mouse icon with the mouse over the resize button. So you can see there's a lot of planned stuff to come for this, but it's just not available now, because this is beta, and even after free to play goes live, it might still be in beta, but it's a great start, and it's a great look at what is available with the Lua scripting. So thanks for taking a look, we appreciate it. Talk to you soon.